Hi everyone, Editing Lily here. Um, I just wanted to say some things before we jump into this video, so please enjoy staring at my face. I filmed this back in January, and I'm just finishing it now, in the beginning of March, finishing editing it. I really hate this video, honestly. I just don't like it anymore but I still want to upload it. Um, the good news is it will be uploaded and it'll be done. And I already have a video up coming up very soon that I'm going to like a whole lot more and it will hopefully not take me 80 years to finish. Um, I know I said I was going to be more consistent this year with my long form uploads. So I'm really sorry that I didn't upload like a single video in February. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry it took so long. Bye. Hi girlies, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying out a lot of Asian beauty brands and we're also going to be reviewing the new Flower Nose Little Angel collection. I'm going to be giving you all my opinions. We will do swatches and I have a couple other products. I thought I would do a full um, Asian beauty brand inspired routine. Um, I don't know why I said inspired because all the brands are Asian beauty. There's a lot of um, Korean beauty and Chinese because Flower Nose is a Chinese owned brand. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. I'm just going to jump in right to my base. I have a few products and then we'll go through the Flower Nose products as we go through the video. I'm just going to start by going in with this Etude um, Hydro Barrier Cream just to moisturize my face a little bit before I apply my makeup. I have always loved Korean beauty brands. I feel like they Put a lot of work into their stuff as well as um, Chinese beauty brands. Flower Nose has become one of my favorite brands since using their products. Um, K-Beauty is ten tends to be more on the natural side and Flower Nose at least with their Chinese beauty brand um, they actually have a lot more pigment than most K-Beauty so I think that's fun. I already forgot that there was a primer in the collection. It's the Little Angel um, hydrating primer. I've actually been using this and I really like it. I'm just gonna apply a bit more just to hydrate my face just even more because it's so dry because of winter. I've been loving this. It is like so smoothing as well like before you put your makeup on and it just helps so much with the application. It's a really good primer. I was really skeptical about trying it because they've never done a primer. Um, but for their first primer, I really liked it. Beautiful. So for foundation today, this is gonna be my first time trying any sort of foundation from a Asian beauty brand. And I have a cushion foundation um, from the brand Clio. I've heard great things about a lot of cushion foundations. The biggest issue I have with them personally and wanting to use them on my channels is they have pretty bunk shade ranges. Obviously they're catering to their main demographic of people um, where these brands are like mainly based. So I can understand that, but also like there's so much stuff online nowadays that I feel like there's like no excuse to at least not have a good like 15 to 20 shades at least because some of these brands they release like four so yeah but I will still give you guys my thoughts because I'm super excited to try a cushion because I never have it comes like this and it's all sealed I did come with a refill which was nice I was like kind of getting like your the bang for your buck Okay, I see the potential. Cushion foundations are so weird. I've never tried one before. I don't know if I like this applicator as much as I would think I would. I'm gonna go into the bead blender and see if there's a difference. Um, okay, I like this a bit more. This is a bit more like my vibe, my tea. I do like how this looks though. It's very natural, it's very glowy. There's three mirrors in the collection, pink, the white, and the black, and I think they're all really pretty. Um, pink is my personal favorite. I just love how they look. There will be a link list down below in the description of everything. Um, most of the stuff um, that isn't the Flower Nose collection is from YesStyle, um, but you can get the Flower Nose makeup, to my knowledge, on YesStyle as well. Um, and I do have a code there, it's LilyT10. And then I also have a code with Flower Nose if you guys want to shop on their official website. Um, and that is just Lily Teal. So you can save at checkout and it does support me. I get commission. I always like to say that. I always like to say that. I like to be transparent about my codes. Um, but yeah, it supports me and you get money off. So, period. Next up, I'm going to be going in with the Flower Nose Cream Blushes. This is a new product for them. 
um, as well as the primer. This is a new first launch. Um, there is six shades. I only have five of them. Um, I did get like two repeats on accident. I think they might've just like accidentally put the wrong one in the box when they sent it to me in PR. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them for you guys. First up is this shade. This is Flaming Heat. And while we're on this one as well, I do want to point out, I think it's just a me issue. I haven't heard anyone else talking about this on social media, but this blush did um, come like this. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I just want to like let you guys know about that and warn you that there's a possibility that happens. But like I said, I haven't seen anyone else talk about that. So I wouldn't be too worried. I think I just got one that just didn't work that well or one that was like it was like a factory issue next up is the shade floral praise next is paradise poet next up is rose ashes and then finally i have fingertip stellar don't understand the name of that one much but it's still a pretty blush very neutral shades i feel like for deeper skin tones the best one is number two just because it has the most pigment in my opinion the other ones are all very neutral um i do think there is I, I don't remember what the deeper shade is i will do my research and edit it in if it's a darker shade or i'll put a picture here um so you guys can see it but yeah here is the full shade range of the blushes i have the cream blushes and for today's video i'm going to be going in with paradise poet Just tapping out the edges with a sponge. That color is beautiful. Very natural, very stunning. I haven't had any issues with these. Um, I've used them a few times and I really like them. I'm not gonna lie, I really like them. I hope they do more cream blushes in the future and I hope they do more shades. I'd love to see like a purple tone. I'd love to see a deep a, like rose shade. There's so much potential with blushes, so I hope they continue to expand on that and they give us new shades in the future. I don't really have a setting powder today, but I do have this Awake and Make finishing powder and it's just like this. It's like a translucent. I am going to try it and just set my like main points that I don't want to crease. It's making you look really, really smooth with it, which I like. Um, I would give that an, like a, I don't know, it's a very interesting, it's a one product, I'll have to see how it wears. Um, so I'll probably try to keep using it on Instagram and I'll keep you guys updated. Um, but it looks good now, it's a very like natural finish. I'm not like super shiny, but I'm not like fully like matte dry looking. So next up from the Flower Nose collection, we have three highlighters. This is their first highlighter product as well. This collection has a lot of new products for Flower Nose, which is really exciting. There is actually four shades. Once again, I only have three, um, but that's fine. I, all the shades I got are the ones I would want. So live. The first shade is Eros Fable. It's this beautiful like pinky champagne. And then we have Chanting Anthem number two. This one's a like white champagne. I wouldn't just call it just like a white highlighter because it is very champagne-y. Um, this one has a bit more pigment than the first one. And I don't have number three, but I do have number four, which is my personal favorite. And this one's a bit of a different formula. It's more of a glitter. Um, when the other ones are more of like a true shimmer. This one is this gorgeous blue purple like reflect. And it is just beautiful i'm gonna use one of the brushes from the collection there's two new brushes um and i'm just gonna see how it applies i haven't used their brushes before um and i'm interested to see if it will be like how i like to have my highlighters i'm gonna go in with a bit on my finger just to kind of like pack in the high point oh that's so pretty i went ahead and did my contour just my nose um, and I did remember I forgot to show you guys two products from the collection that are not makeup related. Flower Nose loves to do hair accessories. I'd love to see them do jewelry personally, um, but there is new two new hair clips in this collection. There is a pink one and then a white one. I think on the website it's called Beige. To prep my lips for later, there is a new lip mask as well. I have been wearing this and actually I really love it. It's not the most hydrating mask out there. I love it as like a prep for my lips before I go on with lipsticks. I think it's really smart they released this on this collection because they are doing a new lipstick as well that is matte so i think it's really smart to do a hydrating product with a matte it's time we get into 
The stars of the show, the eyeshadows, my favorites. In this collection, there is two eyeshadow palettes. One is your more wearable everyday for my neutral sissies. And this one is for the more adventurous girl um, who likes some color. The first palette is called Eden's Angel. And the second palette is called Weeping Angel. I'm gonna go ahead with some swatches. To start with Eden's Angel. For my eye base today, I'm using the new Makeup of Murder um, Eye for an Eye Crime Scene bases. I'm going to be using the white and the shade Suspense just so we can get the most pigment payoff and see how the shadows look on a white base. For this palette, I'm going to do a more wearable look and then the other eye, I'm going to go a little more fun and intense. Um, so starting out, I'm going to go in with the row number four, this like neutral shade just because it is a little darker and I think it'll be a great transition shade. going in with the deepest brown in the palette to add depth. When I'm posting this, January will most likely already be over um, slash about to end. And I wanted to ask how your guys' January was. How are your New Year's resolutions? How are your goals going? What's good? I want to keep up with you guys. Just going to put a little bit more of that eye base right in the center just to help the shimmer stick. I'm going with this shimmer shade right here. Wow, the pigment on that is so nice. Flower Nose always does really beautiful shimmers. Like that is something I'm always impressed with in their palettes. I'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lash line. Just gonna smoke it out with the dark brown shade. And that's the finished eye, no lash. I'll add lashes when I do both. Now let's get into my personal favorite palette of the collection. The Weeping Angel. Once again, these are the shades for a reminder. Um, I think I'm gonna be going for a, I think a cut crease moment, or maybe I should do halo eyes. No, let's do a cut crease. I'm gonna be going in with this dark purple shade first on a little flat brush. I'm gonna map out my crease to buff out the purple. I'm gonna be going in with the blue. I have used this palette already and I do think the colors all go really beautiful together. I was very pleased with how they... Also, if you made it this far into the video and you're still watching and you aren't oh, someone who normally knows me, you don't have brows, don't ask why they're not there, I shave them off. I will save you the time of the comment. Um, I shave them off for fun and to be able to do whatever makeup I want. And if I want to do a brow, I can do a brow. And if you guys want to see an in-depth video on how I do my brows, um, and you want like a full YouTube video on my routine with um, shaving and drawing in a brow um, when I do do a brow, let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease. We can also, to kind of fill this area back up, I'm gonna be going with the light lavender shade um, and just packing it onto my lid. I'm leaving the space right along the crease. I went to the shimmer. Um, yeah, just lavender in. Don't worry too much about blending. And we're just gonna fade it out. Probably gonna put like a deeper shade here. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it. And then I'm gonna go in with the light silvery shade at the top for the um, crease. Yeah, put the shimmer on. It's only in that cut crease area. And if you cut your crease above your actual crease, you'll always see the shimmer and it will look gorge. Now to go in and add some depth, I'm gonna go in with this dark brown black and applying it to my outer corner as well as the outer edge of my lower lash line. Just making sure it's angled kind of in the direction that the crease is going. Otherwise, it's gonna like offset the kind of like shape of the eye. You wanna make sure when you're doing a cut crease or anything like liner wise, that if you're putting something here, it is going in the same direction. Otherwise, it will make your eye look a little weird just gently blending that out with a basically clean brush. Now you guys probably really want to see this deep blue shade so I'm gonna pack that along my lower lash line. Actually I'm gonna pack more of the dark gray there and then I'm gonna pack it on top kind of as a base because I think it will help with the reflect and really showing off the shimmer. So now I'm gonna go in with that deep blue purple shade because obviously it's probably the one everyone wants to see so.
honestly I'm really glad I did that. I think it's honestly beautiful. And technically this isn't the palette, but I'm gonna go back in with that blue highlighter and just tap it on the center of the lid. Um, just to show you guys that you could use this on the eye as well. I'm gonna go ahead and do my liner and my lashes and I'll be right back to do my lips with you guys. I had applied my lashes and my liner and I actually have grown to like this look. Um, I love this look though. I think it's so fun. It's so um, ethereal, but also very like nighttime. So I'm giving you kind of like the natural nighttime look and then the more I'm going out clubbing and I want to look fun and I want to get compliments from all the girls look. Mm -hmm. If you're wondering what lashes I'm wearing, I'm wearing Lily Lashes in the style Miami. And I do have a code, um, Lily Teal. Um, and I do get commission once again. I'm not gonna lie about that ever, period. If I had to pick one that you guys buy from this collection, it would be this one. And I know a lot of you guys like fun colors. So yeah, if you're looking for some blues and some purples, some beautiful shimmers, this would be the one you wanna get. For my lip liner today, I'm gonna be using Judy Doll. This is another K-Beauty brand. I believe it's K-Beauty. If it's not, I'll put it here. Um, and this is lip liner in the shade 01. It's a nude and it's like my fave. So that's what I'm gonna be using on my lips. Honestly, for a lip liner of a brand I've never tried before, I just smacked myself with it. Um, I would give this like a good nine out of 10. It's definitely more a pink nude, um, which isn't my personal fave, but I love how it applied. I love um, how smooth and creamy it was. So I'd give this a good nine out of 10. Why am I docking at a point? I don't know. I just feel like giving me out of 10 out of 10 is too nice for a brand I've never tried. <laughs> so before we get into applying a lipstick, I do have nine shades to swatch for you guys. Um, this shade range of lipsticks is probably the most diverse that Flower Nose has ever done. Um, I think it's the first time they've ever really done browns in a collection as well, um, which makes me super excited because I love nudes. Um, not that kind, the lip kind. So with nine shades, um, they are all packaged. There is three of each color. So there's three black components, three pink components, and three white components. And I've noticed with each three components in each color tube, that they do range for more of a specific undertone slash um, color story. Um, and the first in the collection are the whites. So I'm gonna start with number one and we'll just go down the line. The first shade, 01, is Starry Cross. Number two is called Fantasia. Um, number three is Radiant Seraph. We have number four, Cupid. Then we have number five, I think it's Choir. I cannot read it. We have number six, Lyric Poetry. So we have 07, which is Golden Wheat. Next up, we have 08, which is San Tao. And then last shade is Dark Angel. These are all nine swatches of the matte lipsticks and the Little Angel collection, starting from one, going all the way to nine. So I hope you can use this as reference. Um, I definitely love this kind of a lipstick shade range that they went for. Um, I think it um, caters to a lot of people that like different kinds of lipsticks slash don't just want a pink um, or don't want just a nude. So yeah, for today though, I'm gonna be going in with number seven, just cause that's my fave. I love how these apply, like I said, they're super soft. It doesn't even feel like I have a lipstick on, honestly. Um, and they wear really well. I've worn them for, I think up, up to eight hours because I wore them on stream. Um, and yeah, I think they're really pretty. Um, and I hope they do more shades like this. So that is all of the products for today. My face is done. Um, I'm going to fix my hair a little bit and I will be back with my final thoughts for you guys on everything I tried today. Okay, girlies, I'm back. And it's time to give you my final thoughts on everything I tried today. First up, we had the foundation and the concealer. I really liked the foundation. I thought it looked beautiful on my skin. I think it still looks beautiful. Do I want to try it with other things and try it for longer wear tests? Yes, I think it will become probably like a winter foundation for me. Um, do I think it matches the best? A little iffy but if I just lightened up the bottom with concealer I think we'd be fine. Um, the concealer 
I liked. It's not my favorite. Um, it could have been brighter for me. I like a really brightening concealer. Um, so that just like slightly missed the mark, but it blended beautifully into the cushion. Um, and last product before flower nose stuff was the lip liner. And I already guys kind of give you guys my opinion about that. I give it a nine out of 10. I think it was fine. I think it did the job and I think it was really soft and creamy on the lips. Do I think it's giving anything new? No, but does a lip liner have to? Not really. And then finally, the Little Angel Collection from Flower Nose. Um, I really love all the products in this new line. Um, I wish there was one more eyeshadow palette. Um, they usually do three to four shadow palettes. Um, so it's kind of sad that we don't get a third one because I think it would have been cool to see maybe like a more gold themed palette. Love the lipsticks, love the eyeshadows, love the blushes. Highlighters are great too. Um, I think... My favorite products from the line are definitely the cream blushes and the highlighters being standouts um, and the primer as well. It's been something I've been using the past couple, honestly like week and a half. Um, and I think it really makes anything you apply over top beautiful. So I don't really have a lot of complaints with the stuff I tried today. Um, so yeah, I hope that it helps you guys. And if you purchase anything that I use today, or if you have Flower Nose products, let me know what you think of them. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and let me know what I should film next, makeup wise. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what I should do next with my makeup content. Um, if there's any collections or products you want me to try that you're like dying to hear my opinion about, um, let me know and I will see you guys all later. Make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you love me or if you like flower nose and i will see you guys all next time bye girlies bye bussy blasters